Good afternoon, Financial Independence viewers. We're going to be discussing Tattooed Chef in this video. Uh, just so happens I made a vi video about Palantir yesterday. And look at this. The stock shoots down 6.57%. But guess what? Bought another 50 shares. You got 250, uh, 250 shares now. The portfolio diversity is 11.55%. Uh, we're still up like 2% on the stock. Guys, I hope this keeps dropping. I cannot stress that enough. This is going to be a trillion dollar company in the future. Um, I'm betting a lot of my money on it. And I am i don't care if the stock goes up to 60, 70 this year. I'm not selling. I'm keeping it. Ticker symbol TTCF, also known as Tattooed Chef. Right now, the stock's trading for $18.50 steel all day long um, I do have so my portfolio I have uh, 500 shares right now and about 18% uh, how much weight it holds in my portfolio market value is ninety two hundred dollars and fifty with a total return of negative two point eight two percent first of all I want to go over the history of tattooed chef because there is a little bit of confusion that uh, people just may not know certain terms when I was looking into the company I had to actually look up these terms but once you look at the definition it makes total sense and I'll have examples to show you all so 2009 CEO Sam Galetti opened Stonegate food and begins importing vegetables and other Italian products to be sold national natural channel retailer and in 2010 Stonegate began selling private label products to lead natural channel retailers and the national discount supermarket what is private labeling a lot of people don't know what that means that's basically where a third party actually makes the product itself and then the retailer they control what goes into the product the labeling uh, packaging just the overall product itself, but they just third party it out so they can save money and still sell the product up under their name. So a good example of that is uh, Trader Joe's mac and cheese. That's actually Annie's. And then the great value peanut butter that's actually made by Peter Pan. So in 2014, Sarah Galetti, current CCO, joins the company. 2015, Stonegate becomes uh, Italy International. I hope I mispronouncing that. Y'all kill me in the comments if I am. And begins manufacturing in own facility. So they're starting to manufacture in their own facility now. They're building their company. Uh, the Tattooed Chef brand is launched and begins focusing on plant-based food products. 2019 releases 12 new SKUs. So essentially a SKU is an individual item like I personally love the Sia Bowls. Uh, honestly, I haven't met anybody that doesn't like them. Um, and then their pizzas. Their pizzas are awesome. I think they have six SKUs now of different selections of pizza. We'll get into that later because there was some new news that got launched two days ago on Yahoo Finance. Uh, 2019, 2020 completes merger with Form Merger 2 becomes a public company. This was when the SPAC went public with Tattooed Chef. Changes names to Chat to Chef. 38 branded SKUs in public portfolio. There's more now already. Only been out a public company for one year. And as you see, five year CAGR compound annual growth rate of 63%. So this is a massive opportunity to disrupt a $55 billion US frozen food category. So Tattooed Chef near-term opportunity is $12.6 billion. Guys, it's, a, it's like a $1.5 billion company. That's what, a quick math, 8, 9x. So the long-term opportunity to penetrate the $380 billion, $380 billion, if I need to say that again, global frozen food market massive TAM. If you notice anything about all the stocks out that's in my portfolio, they're awesome companies and I have high conviction in each one of these stocks. I'm young right now, so I want a company that's going to grow massively. The TAM is a 
it's so important the total addressable market when you're talking about I didn't, I didn't look at what it's trading at today we'll get into it but I would I would assume it's somewhere around a 1.5 billion dollar company with their near-term opportunity at 12.6 billion the long term the global food market for frozen food is 380 billion dollars now obviously they're not going to capture all that say they get two three percent of that just two or three percent work that out so some of the highlights that i do want to go over is revenue growth is at 68 percent CAGR, compound annual growth rate so in 2018 47 million 2021 estimates is going to be 222 million we're going to get into that they're more than likely going to beat that so on their established brands 640 percent year over year growth in 2019 from q1 to q3 go into 2020 q1 to q3 60.7 million year over year growth achieved with no investment in marketing or brand no investment as you see here we have sam gladdy he's the ceo and president and he's been for 35 years in the food industry uh, both operations and investor roles with seafood breading vegetable salsas dips grilled chicken organic food companies and then sarah gladdy the tattooed chef cco is the creator of the brand name itself tattooed chef joined the company in 2014 and super headed chef to plant-based and guess what she knows how to cook food she's a former chef in italy and then you have stephanie dickman and chief operating officer joined tattooed chef in 2017 over 12 years of experience in the food industry as you can tell all these people are very very experienced and this is the leadership team that's going to be behind the backs of every employee former ceo of appa fine foods matt williams the chief growth officer joined tattooed chef and last year in 2020 over 25 years of experience in cpg including roles at dean foods coca-cola and pepsico chuck chargill is the chief financial officer joined back in 2020 over 25 years of experience in the public food companies both as an executive and a board member every person well experienced knows what they're doing so i want to go over some of their SKUs whenever they did start out so 2017 you see they have two SKUs. uh 2018 ramped up massively 2019 basically doubled again in SKUs. 2020 they have 38 SKUs. 2021 62 guys there's some targets now that have entire freezer doors not on the crappy like in places where nobody really goes in the very middle of the aisle they have entire doors just about no other food companies even doing that right now especially such a young branded product one last thing before we go over the uh, six new SKUs that tattoo chef did just release two days ago um, Tattooed Chef is an e-commerce play. So the site was launched back in 2020 and uh, number one SKU on revenue, the email list has grown 250%. So the next step in evolution of Tattooed Chef, just about everything, everything's going online, every single thing. Enhanced product and demand awareness, accessibility to Tattooed Chef products, one-on-one -on -one connection with customers, launches of exclusive products, and accelerated growth and customer reach. So now we're going to take it on over. Let's look at Tattooed Chef and their plant-based pizzas that they just launched. So this is on Yahoo Finance from two days ago after this recording. So their plant-based vegetable pizza has zucchini, red peppers, yellow peppers, red onion, mozzarella style shreds of cauliflower crust. Their plant-based white pizza with spinach, creamy garlic sauce, mozzarella style shreds, and a cauliflower crust. Notice all the cauliflower, super healthy, and it tastes very good when it's cooked. Plant-based pepperoni pizza. Their pepperoni pizza was already selling so great. With plant-based pepperoni that they make themselves, notice that they're already making their own plant-based meats. Huge potential in the future for their own meat categories. Plant-based pepperoni and mozzarella style shreds with cauliflower crust. 
plant-based sausage and pepperoni pizza with plant-based sausage, pepperoni, and mozzarella style shreds on a cauliflower crust. And then plant-based two cheese pizza. It, this has the mozzarella cheddar style shreds on the cauliflower crust. So as you see here, this is quoted by Sarah Gletti. We are excited to officially launch the 100% plant-based pizza, said Sarah Gletti, end quote. Founder of the Tattooed Chef at Tattooed Chef, we are constantly looking at ways to put a plant-based twist on classic favorites. These 100% plant-based pizzas not only taste delicious, but also have clean ingredients, deck which more and more customers are looking for in the alternative space. They also said that the full plant-based pizza portfolio will be launched in additional retailers in the coming months. So I would say honestly two, maybe three months because they're moving at a very rapid pace. The pizza requires a one-step preparation. Put the, tear the package open, put it in the oven, basically it, and ready to eat within 10 to 12 minutes. Each product starts at $7.99. So basically $8 that they're selling these pizzas for. If I had to randomly guess, guys, they're making a lot of profits off these pizza. There's no way it takes $8 for a huge manufacturing plant to make a pizza. I'd be willing to bet money. It's probably about $4.50, maybe $5 that's costing them to make this pizza. And then they're go ahead and selling it for $8. So as you see here, we have this nice stepping stone that you would want to look for. So back in 2019, they have 84919 and just so y'all do know, this is all in thousands. In 2020, 148,492. And like I said on all of my other videos, one thing for growth companies that I do want to look at is the total assets to debt ratio. Total assets, 2019, 43,896. They had 9589 for debt. Guess what? In 2020, 266,683 cash loaded for marketing and getting these products out there in people's hands so they fall in love with them, keep coming back to the store. And guess what? They have no debt. Maybe this isn't updated all the way. Maybe they got a little tiny bit of debt or something. But for the most part, they have no debt, which is awesome. I don't follow analysts that much, but I do like to look at a company and what analysts are rating them. So in the current year of 2021, their average estimate is about $0.07 cents a share. And 2022, it's going to be $0.27 cent a share for EPS, earnings per share. Guys, this is a growth rate of 50% in 2021. And guess what? Analysts are slipping. In 2022, I do believe 2021 is right for 50% growth rate. 2022, 36.20%. They haven't even been marketing this whole entire time. They're about to start marketing everywhere. People are going to start to know the name brand. And when they go to a store, they're going to buy two, three, four SKUs of these products each time they go maybe sometimes multiple times a week. All right, financial independence viewers, I hope this helped make your buying decision easier. Tattooed Chef is trading for $18.50 right now. I personally think that's a steal. I built out my position of what I want right now, but the next buying target for me is around $18 even. And at that point, I'm probably gonna buy maybe another 100, 200, maybe even another 250 shares of this. So with that, I hope all y'all have a great evening.